human. Play, Tom Jot, human. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another Pirate Scum Gaming how to video. Hope everyone is doing quite well. And the uh, subject of tonight's video is dilithium farming. A subject near and dear to my heart. Now, as you guys probably know already, there is not much that doesn't need dilithium in this game. You need it to craft things. You need it for reputation projects. You need it for your fleet uh, holdings. So, yeah, you're going to need dilithium and you're going to need lots of it. And I'm going to show you how to do a very quick and dirty daily routine that uh, you'll be uh, getting, you'll be rolling into the uh, lithium in no time. So let's first uh, show you what we're going to do here. We're going to, we are going to start here by Kronos and work our way to the Alpha Quadrant. All right. So the missions we're going to start with are the Empire Defense missions. These missions will net you uh, 1,440 dilithium each. And there are four different available options. Empire Defense against the Federation, against the Borg, against the Cardassians, and against the Romulans. Now you ha you'll have three different uh, contacts you'll have to do for this. And in each of those, you have to destroy six different ships. So I already have the Feder the defense against the Federation queued up. So let's go ahead and head in there and I'll show you what all you got to do. This It's real easy. Uh, each of these should take you no more than 15 to 20 minutes to knock out. And, but that's a roundabout figure. Could take longer, could take shorter. Depends if RNG Jesus is on your side. And more often than not, he's not on my side. So it sometimes it takes me a little bit longer. But hey, like I said, if RNG is on your side, he's feeling good, he's feeling frisky, it may take you a little bit shorter time. Alright, here's the pop-up for us. Let's go ahead and go in. Alright, now you see these uh, pop-ups here? Each of these are a signal you're going to have to scan to try to find those Dog Federation fleets. So let's uh, work right, left to right here. See if we can get something here. Ah, those sneaky buttholes. Again, again, when have you known? When have you not known the Federation to uh, play dirty? Uh, see what I mean about RNG is not being on my side? Let's scan this guy over here and see if we can get any kind of luck. Here we go. Yeah, don't don't get alarmed if it takes a little while to log it to uh, jump into these. Now, as I previously said, we're going to have to destroy six ships per each signal scan that you have to do. So all in all, you'll have to destroy 18 ships. There we go. Now we're loading in quickly. Oh, is this ambush? I don't think so.
dirty buttholes in their ambush tactics. Now you will get a frigate group right when you warp into these, so uh, best to knock those out very quickly. Then you can start hitting some of the bigger targets. Now we got a cruiser hanging out over there. I think that's where we're going to hit next. We get powered up here. It's showtime. Come invade my territory, will you? I don't think so. I made sure work of that bastard, didn't I? Now we gotta find some more. As you can see here, I've knocked out two of the six already. There's a... Oh, there's a Prometheus class escort. Let's go show that guy, uh... He picked the wrong place to come into. So long, pal! Four down, two to go. Here's a friggin' here's a friggin' off by him, lonesome. Let's get this guy. Boom, bitch. Oh, he's got fighters. That's not cool. Do your thing. If there were fighters there, there's not any more. Alright, let's get this nebula and get out of here. So long, buddy. Your insurance was paid up. All right. So basically, that's what you're going to be doing in these. Warping in, taking out six different groups, warping out, rinse and repeat three times. So let's go ahead and claim this. And as you see, you get some experience points, some XP, and hit the 1440 Dilithium. Now there's four of these things that you have to do. So 1440 times four, yeah, you're, you're going to have a lot of Dilithium from this. This is an excellent source of Dilithium. Like I said, this doesn't take that long. You could knock out three, three of those contacts in 15 to 20 minutes, and, you know, depending on if RNG is on your side. Man. Maybe a little longer, maybe a little shorter. It all depends on how things are rolling. But that's just a rough estimate, just to show you guys exactly what needs to be done with this. Alright, so let's warp out of here and head off to show you these other nebulas. And I may be doing a build review on this ship at some point in time. I know Augie has done one on this ship several times over. But I would like to do one from an engineer's point of view. I know Augie's is a lot tactical because that's what he likes. But I want to do one on this ship from an engineer's point of view. So that is uh, definitely in the works. And I also have a beam overload disruptor build video in the works. That should be coming out in the next few days as well. So keep an eye out for that. 
But back to the task at hand. Let's go ahead and jump out of this nebula. All right, so next ones up are Borg, Cardassians, and Romulans. So let's go show you where those are at. I pull up an old mini map here. You have the Yan Nebula, the Chos Nebula, and the Tikanus Nebula. These are the three other ones, along with the Kalos Expanse, where the Empire Defense Missions are at. So you see they're pretty much in a hop, skip, and a jump away from one another, so it won't take a lot of time to... You're not spending a lot of time in sector space traveling. These are pretty well good clumped together. Alright, so that pretty much takes care of my business in the Beta Quadrant. So let's head on over, let's head on over to the uh, Alpha Quadrant, and I will show you the missions there that we were going to be doing. And as always, I have my pre my pre well, warp jumps here, so I'm not having to do a lot, spend a, spend a lot of travel time. Let's find, uh, where is it? Storm Clouds Gather. That's the one I want. See you in the Alpha Quadrant. Alright, welcome to the Alpha Quadrant. First stop on our dill farming routine here is the dilithium mining asteroid, Vlugta. As you see, it is right here. It's right next to my uh, jump point here at DS9. So it's a quick hop over here. I can already hear you guys uh, saying that, oh god, the lithium mining, oh, I'd rather have my gums extracted via my butthole. But you know what? Um, it doesn't take long. You get 200 the lithium per mining nodules that you have to go to, so there's, and there's five of those, that's an easy thousand dilithium. More so on the dilithium weekends. And for those who open lock boxes, you also can get uh, the VIP mining claim. For that, with that, you get 5,000 dilithium normally and 10,000 dilithium on the dilithium weekends. That's a lot of dilithium, and there's a trick to using it for those weekends. What you do Wednesday evening before the Thursday patch, you. Uh, Grab hold of your little mining claim. You head on over to the Vlugta asteroid field. Which we're on final approach to. Let's beam down. And you want to talk over to this lady over here. Ishal. And you want to select the rich dilithium, rich dilithium claim daily. Now you queue this mission up, and then you leave your and you log off for the night. You leave your tune here. Thursday you log on. This mission's ready to go. It's already been queued. So all you gotta do is go on down, turn the mission in, do it, and boom, this will be up again. Twenty thousand dilithium over. With, with just a few minutes worth of work. So, highly recommend that. Excellent way of getting uh, your dilithium stores up. So, let's go ahead and uh, show you what uh, that looks like. Let's see if I have one. I do not have one in my inventory, but I can surely rectify that. Oh yeah, can't summon the guy here. Ain't that up? Ain't that something? Well, basically, with those rich mine, mining claims, it's, they come from the lock boss. It's a VIP claims. They they come in all kinds of stacks. And I would definitely, if you open lock boxes, 
save them for the uh, dilithium weekends. That's when they're most valuable. Now let me go. I'm gonna beam down here so you guys can see exactly where these mining nodules are at. Yeah, with this new EV suit mechanic, it makes things so much easier. So basically, I mean, you guys, if you guys pretty much know how dill mining goes. You walk up to your thing, you hit mine the rocks, you play the little game, and if you give, and if you get it above 700, that's uh, you get your automatic 200 dilithium. This doesn't take long. Uh, you can do this the entire thing within eight to ten minutes, easy. You get your thousand dilithium, and then you can move on. The rich one, the rich mining claim takes a couple of minutes to get through it, not not a lot of time at all. So for about eight ten minutes worth of work, you're looking at about six thousand dilithium. Beaming up. All right, now there's another place you can go to do it if you have a little extra time on your hands. You can run over to your fleet, your fleet dilithium mine holding, and they have a couple of missions there where you can uh, mine all kinds of dilithium. So if you got a little bit extra time on your hands, you got nothing planned for the night, that's always an option. And as always, options are good. But I am not going to be uh, delving into that. I am doing this uh, more of a uh, quick and dirty. So the next stop we're going to be doing, let's head to Tefera. You have several missions there that you need to pick up that is part of your daily dilithium farming. They are quick and easy missions to do. There's one that takes just a little bit longer than the others. And I ran these yesterday and it took me uh, approximately 25 minutes to knock out all three of the dailies. They're known as the Deferi dailies. And what and to unlock these, you have to do the Defera story arc. Now I'm gonna show you where to find those. You open your mission journal, going up to available. And it's right here at the top, Cold War. Once you have done all of these, you will unlock what is, like I said, known as the, Defer as the Defera Dailies. And here, the, you, you're going to want to click on Ambassador Surah here to pull up your dailies. You have the Emancipation Daily, the Rescue Defera Captives Daily, and Aiding the Defera Daily. Now this involves uh, visiting a Deferi outpost and defending it from a Breen attack. And yes, I know the Breen are annoying, it's sub-nuke city with them. But if you have a hard enough hitting ship, you can knock them out before they can uh, do their little sub-nuke dance. Uh, there, another one involves going all the way up to... Breen system up here, there is a roving Breen patrol that you need to interact with. Rescue the Deferi, de rescue the Deferi captives from them, then blow their ship to Kingdom Come. And then they're gonna, you're gonna want to stick around because they have some reinforcements that show up, and you also blow them to, you blow those guys to Kingdom Come. You spread their parts all over the quadrant, and you do it with quite, you do it with conviction, you do it without mercy because the Breen are disgusting. I hate the brain. The brain are just bleh. It's just snow. It's angry snowmen, basically. Let's go ahead and take a look at these. Okay, emancipation. Okay, the emancipation. Travel to the lithium mines of Zarya and free the fairy prisoners there. This one you get 480 dilithium. I've rescued the fairy captives. 
where you need to go to the Calvani belt and uh, go there and kill, beam down, kill some Breen. Uh, it's it's ground. It's not. It's really not bad. Also, this is the one that we have to go talk to the Breen vessel that's reported uh, through the Rave sector, which is over up there near Breen space. And I'll travel up there to show you where to look for it. And then aiding the Deferi. This is the big one. This one is this one gives you 1440 dill. You have to go to several different Deferi locations, patrol them. Uh, kill the Breen. Bing, bang, boom, done. Alright, so let me uh, go up to show you where to find that Breen patrol. Uh, they say Rave sector. It's not in the Rave sector. It's more in the Breen sector. I have always found the... Let me go to, there's one of the Deferi patrols you need to interact with. This is the Deferi outpost you need to go defend. Here is the Zarya system where you'll need to go. Here is the Calvani belt you need to go. These are in Rave sector. But that Breen patrol is floating around Breen, Breen space. So I'll show you where to look for them. Here in Breen system space here. Up oh, there we go. Breen sector. You can spot them on your map too. They're a little blue dot roaming around. Up oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. Right here. See him? Breen patrol. There he is, right there. So basically you approach, you interact with it, you warp in, you do the deal, then you blow then you blow them and their reinforcements from Kingdom Come. Alright, so all told with the Empire Defense Missions, the asteroid to lithium farming. And doing your Defera dailies, you net daily 9,160 dilithium. And yet you, you can, uh, non-lifetime players, you can refine 8,500 a day. Lifetime, you can, uh, you can easily refine that once every couple of days. So if you do this, um... Uh, pre, uh, for a week, you'll be rolling into lithium in no time. You know, you could uh, do it every other day if you so choose. Or, you know, if you, if you have the time, do it daily. In any case, you're going to be, for about an hour and a half's worth of work, you are netting a uh, little over 9,000 to lithium a day. And what that adds up, it's substantial. So this is something that I think uh, newer players should uh, invest in. Uh, to note, devote by an hour, of your hour, hour and a half of your play time to this, and you'll have a very nice lithium stockpile before you know it. Veteran players who are looking to um, get a little extra to help out fleet projects, this is an option. I encourage it strongly. And like, you know, like I said, this takes about an hour, hour and a half, depending on if RNGs is on your side or not. That's always the uh, unknown factor in this. So I hope this helped. And uh, like I said, I have another video coming out in the next couple of days on a beam overload disruptor build, so keep an eye out for that. With that being said, this is Pirate Comes Scum Gaming signing off. And remember, don't go by the book, think like a pirate. I'll see you around. Like all Starfleet, you talk and you talk, but you have no grumbar.